Well, Teslas are a lot different compared to any other conventional car and thinking of Tesla as just another car couldn't be further from the truth. And that could be the difference between actually making the decision of buying a Tesla or if you own one, then using it to its full potential. Welcome back to the channel, where we explore the latest and greatest in the world of Tesla and other technology. In this series of short videos, I'll be discussing all things that I've learned through my experience of owning and researching about Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, including how to lock and unlock the car, how to best use the charging infrastructure, how to change the settings for maximum performance, how to set up the autopilot, what's the best settings for most economical way of driving a Tesla, and much more. So in this video, we'll be talking about the exterior features of the Tesla Model 3. Although the looks of the car are subjective, but it's no doubt that Tesla has gained a reputation when it comes to design and technology. First and foremost, let's see how a Tesla unlocks. It's no secret that Tesla does have these flush door handles to support the aerodynamics, but to understand how they operate, you gotta push this bigger portion of the handle and then this part comes out. And if you don't have the phone in your pocket that does act as a key or you don't have the key card that you've tapped, you can still push the handle but it won't open. But if you have the phone in your pocket and the Tesla key with you, if you press this, the car unlocked. While holding the thumb, just use your fingers to pull the door open. The other thing that you would need to open is the boot of the car. So to open the boot, you just have to click this button which is located right beneath the Tesla sign. And to close the boot, you can click this button over here and the boot starts to close. The other thing that opens up is the charging port. So you can click on the charging port. If the car is unlocked, then this would open up. Or you can click on the charger that's been provided with the car to open it up. So let me quickly unlock the car. And when I click this, now it will open. To close this charging port, you can push it down like this. Although I'm sure this would be something which is quite regular to close it, but it seems quite flaky because it's not too thick and I don't like to push it down to close it. I usually do it via the app or from inside the car. Nope. And it'll close also when the car locks. So if you just walk away with your key in your pocket, that should take care of that too. The other feature of the car is this amazing panoramic sunroof. So the sunroof is tinted and UV protected, so usually you don't need any sort of shades, but I've seen people using internal shades that Tesla provides, as well as third-party accessories that help you to cover the sunroof up if you feel like it, if you're getting uh, too hot in the summer, it might be useful. The next thing to look at is the cameras that Tesla Model 3 has on its exterior. So in total, the windscreen has four cameras, three in here, one on top. Then on the side, there's two cameras, one here and one at the pillar of the car. The same thing exists on both sides. And then there's one camera right down here at the boot for the reversing. So two of those ones, two of these ones, that's four, then five, six, seven, eight and one at the back so nine and there's one inside the car as well so in total there's like 10 cameras in the car which allows the car to do all the autonomous driving that it does and it does help in the sentry mode which is another feature of the car where the car can detect if there's any movement around it and it starts recording it as a security camera and you can review that footage when you come to the car as well as nowadays you can actually pay the connectivity fee and you would be able to access and live stream the cameras from your mobile app. The next feature is the side mirrors. They're actually heated side mirrors which fold and unfold based on when it's locked and unlocked. You can actually program to leave them open at a certain uh, GPS location like if there's a spot that you don't want your mirrors to fold you can actually save it in your settings that are saved to your profile and car would remember that for a particular location you would want them to be unfolded and uh, be like this even if the car is locked. So that's a quick intro to Tesla Model 3's exterior and what to expect in it. There's one more thing that I almost missed because they have recently removed it from the new models and that is the 
I think the ultrasonic sensors as you can see my car does have them and they are at the front as well as at the back they actually help to measure distance in front of the car or at the back of the car which gives you correct reading of how far there's an obstacle when you're trying to park your car which is quite handy and the new system is entirely based on cameras I've heard a lot of reviews which are indicating that they are not that accurate and it might be something that Tesla need to improve on. So this is the quick intro to the exterior of the car and as I'm trying to keep this series of short videos really short, I'll be explaining all the features of the app to control the uh, frunk as well as the boot in a later video in the series. But before we go, I'll give you a quick tip around how to ensure that the autopilot of the car works perfectly. As I was saying, that for the autopilot to work, you need to make sure all the cameras, including the, on the sides as well, especially on the front, to be very clear and clean. If there's any obstacle, there's any dirt, which is big enough to uh, create confusion among the camera system, it usually impacts the autopilot quite a lot. So before going on a road trip, make sure that your cameras are quite clear and there's nothing blocking the view from the cameras to ensure that the autopilot runs perfectly. Once I was going down the freeway and the car said that I don't have access to autopilot anymore and it was so confusing because I was driving down the freeway on autopilot just a few minutes before and it just stopped working on me and I had to drive my car manually that day and to find out that the reason for Tesla's autopilot not to work was just the cameras were not clear although it was raining but there was some dirt blocking the front of the camera was a uh, eye-opener for me to know that it's very important to keep the cameras clean for uh, the car to operate normally. That's it for today's video and let me know if you want to know anything else about Tesla's or any other features that you want me to explore and cover in my next video. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.